Hey there, welcome to Worth It Wednesday. Every Wednesday we send a principle worth learning, a question worth answering, and a recommendation worth taking. Today's principle is that the standard you subscribe to personally will cascade organizationally. But here's the belief that I often hold for myself that I often see play out for other leaders as well. I have this misguided belief that I can be outrageously judgmental, incredibly critical, and re like remarkably negative towards myself, but I can be outrageously uplifting and inspiring and encouraging towards others. It doesn't work that way. I just think of this idea that oftentimes in leadership, your actions are so loud that people can't hear your words. And so if you want to be this leader that embodies love and grace and poise and peace and inspiration and encouragement towards others, you got to first start by expressing that towards yourself. Because the standard that you hold yourself to will extend beyond you. You can't expect that people will watch you be outrageously judgmental of yourself to constantly have this never enough mentality about yourself, to constantly be dissatisfied with your own performance, but suddenly you expect them to be satisfied with their performance. No, they're going to follow you. Why? Because you're the leader. I mean, Jesus tells us, love others the way you love yourself. It's interesting that that operates from the presupposition that you love yourself. And I'm not talking about love as a feeling. I'm not talking about love as a romance. I'm talking about love as a verb. It means that you care for yourself. Jordan Peterson would say it means that you treat yourself as someone you're responsible for helping. So what's the soundtrack that you have playing in your mind about yourself? Would you ever say those things to other people? Probably not. Probably because it's incredibly judgmental, harsh, negative, and pessimistic. So what would it look like to rewrite the soundtrack about yourself? To be filled with truth, yes, but also to be filled with grace. To operate in a humble reality that, no, I don't got this all figured out, but I'm never going to have this all figured out. And, and it's good that for the areas that I'm falling a little bit short, there's grace. But there's also things that I might be doing right. There's also areas where I am strong. There's gifts that I've been given. Too often, leaders operate with this self-deprecating view of themselves and then expect to be able to inspire others. It doesn't work that way. And so recognize the standard that you apply to yourself personally will cascade organizationally. They can't help but apply the same standard to themselves. So the question I want you to think about is, what would it look like to hold yourself to a healthy standard? Not a standard of perfection, where you're constantly beating yourself up because you can never measure up to it, but a standard that is rooted in truth and covered in grace. The standard that you hold yourself to personally will cascade organizationally.